your voice. Jersey Central with Bert Barron on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. As Ken Schlager grooves to the sound of Maroon 5, we move into segment two of our New Jersey monthly, monthly. I know you can tell you used to work for a, a, a for billboard for a billboard music magazine. magazine 20 I, years i can tell yeah but I, I wasn't go. i wasn't sure who we were listening to. maroon so five there, there you go all right uh, ken is with us of course now the editor of new jersey monthly magazine <laughs> fall getaways issue on stands uh, new stands now njmonthly.com for more information and another real cool one that's happening uh, this weekend ken another great family destination uh, in morris county you want to talk about this one right in mendham uh actually between mendham and chester is the ralston cider mill um, this is a wonderful old um, restored uh, 19th century f- cider mill. It uh, dates back to 1848 in the original structure, and it was originally a mill for grain uh, where they made flour. And then after the uh, turn of the 20th century, they started pressing apples there and making and making hard cider, Applejack, which was a really important drink uh, in, in New Jersey, was a big producer of Applejack. This was even before beer was so popular. This was the drink of choice going back to colonial days, George Washington. Was it a hard cider? Is it was that a what hard, it was? Hard cider, yeah. Oh, okay. Right, right, you like nice. that. Idea, I do. Right? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, prohibition comes along, right? And, and the uh, one with all the fun, right? Yes, prohibition comes along, and I think it actually started a lot of the fun. <laughs> they they began making illicit cider, mm. right? And uh, they had a secret still there, and they would sneak it uh, through a tunnel to a, a place, a restaurant across the uh, across the road that became a speakeasy. So it's great history <laughs> That's there. That's great. Uh, in the 30s, um, you know, this hard cider kind of fell out of favor, um, and the, the place kind of shut down for several decades. And, and about 10 years ago, there was a local preservation movement. They uh, volunteers restored the mill, and so it's a it's a working mill again where they can press apples and make cider. And they do this once a year, and it's happening this Saturday. October 10th. I hope to be there myself. That's great. And uh, and you can watch this whole thing. Local apples are dumped into the top of it. It's like a three or four story uh, mill and they're dumped into the top and they're made into this kind of slop like an applesauce and they come down and you can watch it being pressed and the cider come out. And here's the awesome. thing. If you bring a bring your own jugs, you can come away with some cider just for making a, a contribution, I believe. And they, they only there's only about 200 gallons will be pressed on Saturday. Wow. Uh, in, in its heyday, they could do, you know, a thousand gallons a day so um you know it sounds like a real fun thing and there's great stories behind it great for the kids very unique attraction yes i love stuff like yes. that in jersey you always yeah. seem to find the real yeah. cool interesting yeah. things and it's like once that. a year this happens so right this saturday is the day that's excellent uh how about some other things that are going on i know that you had mentioned about the foliage not quite there yet you know maybe way up in north jersey where the nights are getting colder maybe we're starting to see that but uh, maybe a nice uh, trail hike if someone wants to go on, can or ride a bike or do something like that. Right. I mean, uh, well, you know, we there's a lot of talk lately about the uh, Appalachian Trail. There's a movie out about it right now with uh, with Robert Redford and uh, I guess Nick Nolte is in that. That's right. Yeah. Right. There was a front page story in the New York Times about the Appalachian Trail. Well, we've got um, we've got uh, 72 miles of the Appalachian Trail. The trail itself is. Uh, 2,185 miles runs from Georgia to Maine, or Maine to Georgia, depending on your outlook. And but we've got 72 miles of it here in New Jersey, all up in the northwestern corner of the state. And in uh, New Jersey Monthly this month, we we detail four different hikes that you can take uh, on the trail and and its tributary trails. And they're all uh, easy to moderate hikes. None are longer than five miles. And they get you up onto these ridge tops where you get these, you know, incredible, incredible uh, views across New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York State, uh, and it really is a great way to get out and uh, and see see the foliage, see a part of the state that maybe you don't ordinarily go to. Yeah. Now, if you don't want to do the hiking, you can actually drive up to the High Point Memorial in the in the you know northwesternmost corner of the state i love where, that right yeah. yeah where where new york and pennsylvania and new jersey come together and you can drive right into a parking lot and just walk it's maybe a, you know a, a, you know a couple of hundred yards uh, up a up a path mm-hmm. to the memorial anybody could do it and from the memorial from the base of the memorial and the memorial itself is an obelisk like the you know like the washington memorial and in uh, Washington, D.C., nowhere near as big, but it's very impressive. It's up on a hill. And from the base, 
you walk around the base and you get this incredible panoramic view. Yeah, the you view know, is three amazing. Three-state view. So you, you know, you can see for miles and miles. I had miles. worked briefly in Port Jervis, New York. That was like well, my right guidepost. I'm like, okay, yeah. there's the monument. I'm almost yeah. at work. Yeah. So it's a great spot, and you, you know, just. To, to drive up to it it's, itself is fun, particularly during the foliage season. Yeah, very cool. 732-545-9282. Uh, Bob in New Brunswick, you had a uh, question or comment for Ken Schlager from New Jersey Monthly. Hi, Go good ahead. Good morning. Morning. Uh, I, I listen to this guy every time he's on. He's very fascinating. I want to uh, is anything going on in New Jersey around Halloween, like about the Jersey Devil and all? My oh. kids are interested in that stuff. But I, I was just curious if they have any kind of Funny he should ask about that, Funny right? Funny should Ken? ask. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we have a whole feature that we call Scared Silly. The next segment coming up, Bob, we're going to talk about that exactly. Well, I'll hang right. up and I'll listen. You're pretty good at predicting the future. How about go. that? Yeah, I'll Thank hang you, up Bob. I'll be listening. All right. We've Thank, got you, a, Bert. Thank you, Thank you. And, and I think we're going to do a segment about predicting the future as well. Right? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he was on that too. So we'll talk about, I mean, it wouldn't be Jersey without some of the scary Halloween attractions. But uh, uh, quickly, before we get to our next uh, traffic and weather, uh, Princeton, there's something, there's some stuff happening in Princeton too people need to know about? Yeah, well, Princeton, of course, is always a great place to visit any time of year. But the foliage there is beautiful, yeah. on, uh, you know, downtown around Palmer Square on the campus. Uh, they have some fun things there. They have a, a Princeton tour company has a ghost tour. Nice. Uh, that you can go on. And then in one of the stops on that ghost tour, which you can do yourself, is the Princeton Cemetery, which is a mm. fascinating place. Grover Cleveland, the only president born right. uh, in New Jersey, and it looks like it's going to stay that way for yeah, a while, yeah. <laughs> uh, is, is buried there yes. uh, along with along with his wife and his daughter, who, what's the trivia about his daughter? Do you know? Mm. Her name is Ruth Cleveland, and she was baby Ruth. She was the, she was the little right. girl that the candy bar was actually named The wealth named of information for. today. Not, Look at you. Not Babe Ruth, but baby Ruth. And um, and she's buried there. And it's a really interesting cemetery. John O'Hara is buried there. Literary figures, political figures, and beautiful place to walk around. Yeah, and a little stroll down Witherspoon Street. That's, that's right. nothing wrong with that exactly. either, right? And, yeah. you know, and great places to eat and nice shopping. Uh, the Delaware uh, and Raritan Canal goes through um, – uh, along the uh, along Carnegie Lake there in Princeton, nice great place for a walk, a bike ride. Uh, if it's a warm day, you can rent canoes or kayaks and go out on the uh, the Millstone River, I believe yeah. it is there, and the canal. So there's a lot to do around there. Very good. Uh, great, always a great destination. Yeah, we'll talk more with Ken Schlager coming up on our New Jersey Monthly Monthly. It is 8:26. Our traffic.